Hello again. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Um. I'm. I'm just talking about cabs tonight. You know, I've been having to take cabs to go here and there and all around and. Um. Well, I was hoping I would never come across this cab driver again, but I did. Um, I met, well, um, he was my cab driver about three weeks ago. Uh, I get in the cab. Uh, I tell him I need to go downtown. Well, he was playing MLK stuff, you know, Martin Luther King speech, and I said, sir, I'm not in the mood to hear this controversial stuff in the morning. I didn't say controversial, I just said, I'm not in the mood to hear this, you know, uh, you know, in the morning, I'm having a bad morning, I do not feel like hearing this, and he's like, you racist, this history, and I'm like, yes, you're right, it is history, I got that real clear, you know, by now, it's only like been how many years ago, I know, uh, I'm not... <laughs> Is it really necessary to play uh, when you get, you know, people don't want to hear that shit. I don't know he does, but we're the one paying. I said, you know, just have some, uh, just turn it off if, I mean, you're, you're the one getting our money. And, of course, he sure didn't get a tip. Well, if he did, it might have been a few cents, but that's it, because I, I just wanted to get out, so I just gave him the money he wanted, and I got out. Well, he, I get, uh, I call a cab again tonight, and it was him again. I'm like, oh, shit. This time, it was Arabic um, speech and stuff like that. I'm like, what, is, what in the hell, man? And But... See, the first time, the first, on the MLK, after he did, he, he said, I'm racist and everything. I said, no, sir, I'm not. Then he said, he, he started, he, he was driving on the freeway, and he, he raised his hands off the wheel and started going, ah, ah, ah rambling something. I, I couldn't even understand. He sounded like he was so angry. I'm like, oh, my God, get me out of this cab. If I get him again, I am just, I am... And the thing is, he knows where I live now because when you call a cab, uh, you give um, you have to you have to give your address, like your apartment number and everything. So he knows where I live, and um, that makes me fucking scared, man. And I don't know, you know, what to do if I get him again. That's why I need to find a ride like right now. So I don't run into any more trouble. Um, that guy just get, spooks me out something crazy. Um, be glad. If you don't have to take a cab, be glad. Be damn glad. Because you never know who you're getting in a car with. It's different all the time. I did find one, though, and I got his card. I... I I'm using him for my Tuesday meetings, and um, but still, I, I got other stuff I have to do during the week. My ex-girlfriend Jeanette um, usually takes me to my anger management, but I still got, you know, the rest of the week, you know, because I got to go go to AA four. I mean, four times total every two weeks. And then anger management twice, um, and then PO visit on Friday, Fridays usually, every two weeks. So I don't know, man. I'm just am I just parent too paranoid or what? I I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm hating this. I'm hating it. So if you know me or I know you and you live in, around in the Houston area, man, and you see this, please, please contact me. I, I need a ride. I really do. Um, shit, I thought I 
saw a roach or something. <laughs> we had this damn cock and roach infested uh, place. Uh, I need to put some damn. Because I noticed when I'm walking into my apartment and my computer's by the window and I don't want people seeing in here. Uh, put a sheet or something over it. I, I, I'm getting so paranoid. Um, but anyways, just thought I'd make a video about that. Hope you are doing well. Uh, middle of the week. Kids are in school now, aren't they? Fun for the parents. <laughs> well, the ones that don't work anyway. Alright, I'll take care later.